It's obscene extreme. We're in the toilet. Obscene. Uh, <laughs> it's obscene, and we are extreme. In the toilet. In the toilet, and that's why this is happening. And we're here with uh, Mr. Kevin Sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp hat, sharp man. Um, I'm pretty much want to ask you. Fandomous concept is, you know, a band of friends, yeah. just playing tunes for the sake of playing tunes, yeah. doing what you love. But you guys both, Napalm Death put out a record this year. Brutal Truth put out a record this year. Sure. When when can we expect anything from Venomous Concept, if ever? Well, <laughs> actually, we wrote a couple songs this morning, and. Uh, it, you know, actually, I think we're working on an EP like right now. Actually, right now? Shane and Danny uh, are going to go back on Wednesday and track some stuff. Okay. And uh, we wrote a couple songs, and uh, <laughs> and there's Woody. It's a fucking toilet, man. What's going on? It's, a, it's an interview. It's, uh, it's a professional spot. No, um, we're working on something new right now, and. Um, uh, you know, it's just going to be more in the in the old school, like good times, good times, good fun. You know, I mean, our other bands are really kind of mathy and stuff, and we like to really uncomplicate things and and tap into our primal monkeyness. Primal urges. Our primal monkeyness. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, do you guys keep this stuff in mind when like writing with your other bands? Well, it's just sort of a different mentality, you know. Like I've done like a lot of a lot of records and a lot of different bands and that sort of thing, and you know, always like have different concepts of like what you go into when you write a record or, or that sort of thing. But for me personally, Venomous Concept is like one of those things you just really don't want to think too hard on. It's not complicated. It's not rocket science, which is actually a song we wrote today. Um, it, it's it's all about having a good time and and you know. Uh, it, 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 it's nothing like the other bands, you know, um, and it's always been just about having a laugh. And you're either laughing or crying and fuck crying, C crying's... Are you telling me you're laughing at hardcore? No, I'm, I'm laughing at myself. You can't laugh at yourself. The, you the greatest at joke else. ever, the greatest joke ever is pull my finger. Pull my finger. It never gets old. I have a three-year-old and it's awesome because I get to be three all over again. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, is it, is it going to be more poisoned apple, or is there is there something new you're trying to tap? No, it'll always be like simplistic hardcore punk, like with a serious caveman aspect to it. Um, it is what it is. I mean, we wrote a bunch of songs, and then we decided they were too involved too complicated so we you know scrapped a bunch of stuff and went back to the roots which is just like an attitude and a feeling you know it's like i'm not out to reinvent the wheel i'm out to crush it and you know i had a good time tonight it was not no perfect it was never meant to be perfect but it was perfect to me i had a bunch of really insane freaks like up in my face and they were all having a good time, and what the fuck, you know? Well, I was going to say, like, you guys don't get to play together very often. I mean, when you do get together, is it pro-down or bro-down? Are you thinking... It's bro-down. Like, it's it's bro-down, bro down, you know, because it's like, you know, we've all known each other for since the 80s, you know, and, um, you know, that's just where we're at. Just, we get together, and uh, we, we try not to complicate. You know, you can... You can crack on someone's ass in your own band or whatnot, but like, this is like a flub note is beautiful to me. Oh, it's the moment. It's That's the what moment. it is, the moment. And as long as you piss yourself, it's cool. As long as you piss yourself, it's cool. Remember this. Um, well, no, when you're on there though, like, what, what's the energy you're getting? Is it just like you're sitting there and you're, well, standing there, running around, barking, making yourself bleed? Yeah. What is that energy? Well, it's just like, it's just like that, you know, the, the nine to five really rots you, you know, and it'll eat you alive if you don't let it. And, uh, and this is just like, forget it. Just wash it away, have a fucking laugh, punch yourself in the head, punch someone next to you. It's only, it's only, only pissing in the wind, right, brother? 
life is. Don't don't complicate life, man. People in in in, in Costa Rica live to be 120 years because because they don't worry too much, you know. Live, love, laugh. Live, love, laugh. Hugs. Hugs. Do we have a hug? Group, group, I, oh, I'm going to have a little oh, hug. Hugs. A little I hug. that guy, but he's holding his dick right now, so I don't know if I really want to hug him. How about a high five? <laughs> a high elbow. Yeah, high right? Elbow. Well, you know, you're saying the nine to five. We were talking to Millie Petroza. Yeah. Yes, who said that um, we thought that he might have been driving our train because a train driver had introduced himself as Petroza. We're like, is that Mille? Is that Mille? And he told us that he'd never had an actual job in his entire life. Being one of the veterans yourself, have you had an actual job? Yeah, I mean, obviously. I mean, um, I mean... You get to a point where you can't really deal drugs. You get too old for that, you know, because, like, you know, there's only so much sand in that hourglass, you know, before the man catches wise. I, I you know, I ran restaurants. I do, uh, but right now, I, um, I do graphic design and web stuff. I do contract work. I build people's, you know, things. Things. Things and stuff. You know, kitchens, bathrooms, that sort of thing. I do that kind of stuff, and, um, and stuff. yeah, but you know, everyone wants to crack on and what's punk, this, that, and the other, man, but like, I'm 41 years old, I've lived life on my own terms, I'm a one percenter, you know, I may not ride a bike, but I'm, a, I'm an outlaw in a certain aspect, you know, any of these old timers that have been around have seen shit that will make your hair gray, you know? <laughs> from the root down yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, I wouldn't change a bit of it and I would pass that on to my child Well, this because it might you get one ticket man and you gotta roll you gotta fucking take it by the balls that's what makes this festival really awesome squeezing like 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 bags of gold like bags of gold the balls of life balls you know life. you know the thing is and that what's make this festival so cool is it is it like Everyone here, you will not see any of them at the other festivals. This is the beautiful people. These are the people that are on the outside that will live life the rest of their life on their own terms. Absolutely. And that's what that's what it's about. That is what it's about. Well, do you find like playing music keeps you know the vitality alive? Like, are you 18 till you die? I think that uh, you know, it, creating and living. Is, is what it's about and however you do that whether you it's building or creating or you know it is what it is you know to, to, to punch a fucking card and call it a day that's saying no to your life I can agree with that and you know what just happened Napalm Death started playing ooh, 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 ah, ooh. So we're going to go ooh ah ooh and uh, yeah, Kevin Sharp, Venomous gonna, Concept, Brutal Truth. Ooh, ooh. It's Oh yeah, no, but we need a final high five. <laughs> Ow! All right, Obscene Extreme, come back.